Time for some dreaming. But I like this one. Kiss. Spartacus. <laughs> he likes to lick and bite. Hi, Brian Lape, Cincinnati Craft Beer Examiner. Examining another craft beer. Again, we have a magic hat on tap. This is from their summer collection. I forget the exact name. It's a mixed pack, but basically for summer. Oddness on the table. So, right now we have Dream Machine IPL. And this is, um, there's been some mixtures going on of styles recently. And IPL is one of them. This is essentially to take the idea of the IPA style of beer. And instead of doing it as a strict ale, doing it as a lager. And uh, so there's, there's several of these out there. So what these tend to be are nice golden colored beers. But instead of being a strict ale, they're going to be a lager. Now what that really means is, is not only do they tend to use a different yeast, doggy, stop it doggy, but they, they uh, age longer before they're bottled. And that's the whole idea of lagering is lager yeasts are, are fermented colder and the yeast kind of hangs out in the middle to the bottom of the brewing vat. Whereas an ale, it's a top fermenting yeast. So that's the biggest difference in the temperatures. So what tends to happen with a lager is it tends to have a cleaner, crisper, more uh, tend typically what we'd call refreshing taste less heavy people will say it doesn't feel so thick doesn't feel so heavy tends to be a clearer beer so anyway so right off the bat just as you would expect with an IPA you've got hops nice piney hops right on the nose get a little bit of that foam in there and absolutely you've got nice piney hops American style IPA, you're going to tend, especially a Northwestern style IPA, you're going to have that very hop, um, kind of piney, sappy type of hop as opposed to a citrusy hop. So, very nice. Very good. I'd say I'd give this, you know, previously I'd given this a three, I'm going to give this a four. So, I'm going to go ahead and confirm my check-in while we're doing this. The pine is noticeable, but it's not overpowering. And I'm going to say that's mainly due to its lagering. Because when you get an IPA, it's very fresh. Especially a Northwestern IPA, the pine is going to hit you hard. Now, some IPAs are more citrusy. But when they're fresh, they're going to be very, very hoppy. And because this has had a lager... Unfortunately, they don't give a whole lot on the bottle about the, the beers themselves. This little blurb at the top is the same on every bottle that I've been able to tell. But lagering is going to let it, the, the hops are going to tone down a bit. Uh, typically, a lager you also enjoy colder. And if you take an IPA and you have it at too cold a temperature, it is going to be really bitter. But when it comes up to temperature, it's going to open up some. Being a lager... 45 degrees is fine. This one's a little cooler than that, but it's starting to warm up under the hot lights here. And for those of you who saw my uh, review of Magic Hat's uh, Elderberry, uh, Elder, Elder Betty, the bubbles on that were just flying through the top. These bubbles just kind of taking their time for the most part. And that's kind of typical of this, this kind of beer. So, I'd say it's a nice balance. You do have some of that caramelized malt flavor that comes in that you're going to expect in an IPA. But because it's a lager, everything's kind of toned down and smoothed out. It, doesn't ha it has a few rough edges still left, but not very many. So, it's a nice balanced beer. Very good. This is a good beer to have when you're just out chatting with your friends in some bar. Uh, I have no idea. This is 5.7%. A little heavy on a, as a session beer, but it works. Um, you could eat this with just about anything. It's got a nice balance, so it's not overpoweringly bitter. So it has some hoppiness, so the, 
A spicy dish will balance with that well, but you know, you could have a grilled steak and potatoes and, and seasoned vegetables with this just as easily. I mean, it's nice balance all around, good with anything kind of flavor. Very nice balanced aroma. No, no surprises here. You know, Magic Hat does a very good job of their beers. They're typically very well balanced. This is no exception. Very good beer. Gave it a three and a half, I think is what I did. Checked it on Untapped. Check it out. Find all my check-ins. Brain Muffin. Follow me on Brain Muffin on Untapped or Brain Muffin on Twitter. And uh, I'm definitely going to start blogging about these beers more. BrianLape.com is where you'll start seeing more of my beer blogs. I've got all these blogs everywhere, and I'm trying to consolidate into one. I'm just tired of being in six different places. I know the experts say not to do that, but I'm just tired of having to log in all over the place. So I've got my own domain. That's where I'm going to start putting them. They'll be well categorized, so you'll be able to find them. So anyway, very good beer. Dream Machine IPL. Pick it up. Enjoy. Make Put your comments below. See how you like it. Say how you like it. Say what you want in my review. And please subscribe. Thank you very much.